Yo, it's me, it's me, it's the S-E-O-T-T. Ever wonder what would happen if Peter Pan grew up? Well, that's... Well, the answer is given to us in the 1991 film Hook, starring Robin Williams, Dustin Hoffman, and directed by Steven Spielberg. The great Steven Spielberg. Spielberg. And this movie is very simple. It's Peter Pan grown up. Like... You know, it's this man, Peter Banning, he, you know, he's kind of this deadbeat sort of dad. He's more into his job than he is to his family, and and he's he's going to, to London to honor this woman who has raised him, this old woman who has raised him in this orphanage that she raised him in, and brings his family along the way, right? And, uh, so on the night... That he and his wife and the and the old woman they go out to, to the ceremony to the you know the banquet dinner or whatever to honor her. That's when, someone swoops in and steals the kid and it turns out that someone is actually Captain James Hook, from the Peter Pan story. Turns out this old lady is actually Wendy Darling from the Peter Pan story, and this man Peter Banning is actually Peter Pan all grown up. Of course, doesn't believe it. You know, he doesn't believe it at all uh, until Tinkerbell shows up. She still doesn't really believe it, but he's knocked unconscious. He's drunk, of course. He's knocked unconscious. And he's taken to Neverland where he is dropped on the pirate's ship for some reason. I don't understand that. Maybe that's, you know, get his kids back right away, but he doesn't remember anything. You know, he's undercover, dressed as a pirate. Tinkerbell dressed as a pirate, but as soon as he sees his kids, he blows, the, you know, he blows his cover, and he goes after the kids. They don't believe that he's Peter Pan, and uh, Tinkerbell negotiates with the hook. She says, "Hey, give him three days, three days, and he can be Peter Pan again." He's knocked into the river, and he ends up back where the Lost Boys are, right? And the Lost Boys are led by Rufio. Now, I like Rufio as a character; he's a great character. But, how old do you have to be to stay a kid forever? Now, it's established that Peter only grew older because he left Neverland. You think, oh, if you're going to stay a kid forever, you're going to stop at like 10 years old. Rufio is at least 15, maybe older. He's at least a teenager. And that's a, that's a little bit beyond my, you know... My, you know, my suspension, suspension of disbelief there that when you never land, you never grow older. But Rufio is at least fifteen or older, and that's, you know. And then they say that all adults are pirates. So does that mean that once he, he does, they do grow older, but they turn into pirates? Who knows? So he's got three days to become Peter Pan again. So the Lost Boys are training, except for Rufio, who doesn't believe in him. But they're trying to find Peter, but it's just not working. They're trying to make him get his happy thought. He, that doesn't work. And then one night, they're having dinner, but there's nothing there. They have to use their imaginations. And he starts trading insults with Rufio. And that's when he scoops up some and says, Rufio, why don't you suck on a dead dog's nose? And he flings it, and that's when all the food shows up. But I can't help but watch that scene and think, there's still nothing there. Like, he's eating and stuff. There, but it's all in their imagination. These kids are starving. There's no food there. Even if they're all... There's still nothing there. They're just imagining it. And every time I watch it, I think, it's just in their heads. They're not getting any nutrients. They're not getting fed. I'm surprised. There, there's like a fat kid. Thugbutt is his name. People mistake him for the kid from Good Burger, but it's not Kenan. Thudbutt. His name is Thudbutt in the movie. And he's fat. But all I can think of is that he shouldn't be because there's no food. Because it's not really there to use their imaginations. And all I can think of back in my head is that there's no food. So anyway, after this, Peter really starts to train. But then he, he still doesn't fully understand or get what's going on until Tinkerbell takes him to the tree. You know, the old tree from the Peter Pan story that was blown up by the present given to him. By hook, and he finds a teddy bear, which he seems to think is his teddy bear, even though in the story and the movie, the cartoon movie from Disney, Michael had a teddy bear, not 
Peter. You can you could say, oh well, it was left there by uh, by Michael, and that's where he gets married from. But no, it actually acts as if it's his teddy bear, and that's how he thinks of you know being a daddy. And his happy thought is the birth of his son. He's able to fly again, and then he's Peter Pan once again. But you know, he can fight. He can fight. He can crow. He gets his sword back from Rufio, and he's Peter Pan again. But now he's forgotten the memories that he once had as Peter Banning, and it takes Tinkerbell growing to enormous size, kissing him, and giving the memory back. They get his memory back of Mora. You know, because she says, I love you, Peter Pan. He's like, I love Mora. And so he goes to fight Hook, and he has his Lost Boys with him. And then we get to one of the saddest parts of the movie, and that's Rufio. And, boy, you know, all the things are going on, they're fighting. Rufio's ready to fight Hook. And uh, Peter Pan, Peter's like, no, Hook is mine. The old man is mine. And they start to fight. But then his daughter calls for him. So he flies to go save his daughter, right? Well, then Rufio's left, you know, Rufio, Rufio. Hook entices him. They fight and <laughs> Rufio is stabbed. He is killed. And then you get this weird fan scene where Peter's flying and you get... No, but they're just the, the fans are like, no, it's just ridiculous. And so Hook and Peter Pan fight. But Hook has had this whole scheme where he tries to hypnotize Peter Pan's kids. But the daughter is so, I'm not going to say smart, but she's, she, she's stronger than her brother because she actually really loves her parents in spite of their flaws. It's, you know, her father in spite of his flaws, but... It's Jack, the boy that has insecurities because his father always misses his baseball games. And they use that to their advantage. And eventually he forgets that Peter is, is his father. Because they say Neverland makes you forget. You know? But it's leaving Neverland that makes you forget. Not the other way. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But eventually... During the fight, Jack realizes that Peter is his father. And they and they, they do this, like, three different fights. There's that fight, and there's another one down on the dock where they fight again. And then he goes to leave anyway, but then he gets out another sword and, and stuff. And then it goes down to, you know, throughout the film, we're told that uh, Hook had the alligator that bit off his hand. The crocodile bit off his hand, stuffed. And that plays into the finale where Hook goes to Hook Peter and he gets stuck in the alligator and it swallows him. Even though the alligator is dead, so there's no digestive system. He'd just be laying inside the dead crocodile's stomach area. It, there's no... I don't know. One thing I want to point out is Bob Hoskins in this film... As me, he is phenomenal. Phenomenal. As me, he's great. So Peter gets so Peter sends his kids with Tinkerbell back says Tinkerbell to send his kids back to the real world. He says his goodbyes to the Lost Boys. He gives Thudbutt the sword to make him the new leader of the Lost Boys. I do wanna say though that Well, we'll get to it. So Peter flies back. And while the kids end up flying through the big window and back to their mom, Peter ends up down in the front yard where he eventually makes his way back up, which is why he can't go through the front door. I don't know. But he goes up, climbs up the house. He goes in. He has his thing with his family. And then we get Toodles. So there's this running gag with Toodles in the film that's kind of annoying. The first time that it happens, it's genuinely funny. Where he answers the door and he goes, It's nine! If you remember Toodles from the original story, he's the one in the skunk costume in the original Disney movie. He opens the door and he goes, It's snowing! And he slams the door. And then when they finally get in the house and they're looking around, Toodles is seen crawling on all fours looking for something. And Peter asks him, What do you... Something wrong? And he goes, I've lost my marbles. That part is generally funny. 
But then they do it again. In Neverland, when they're on the bridge, Dogbot comes up to Peter and says, Here, these belong to Toodles. And Peter goes, He really did lose his marble, didn't he? And Dogbot says, Yeah, he lost them good. Yeah, it was funny the first time, but now it's just like, Okay, we get it. He actually really lost his marbles. And then at the end, he gives the marbles back to Toodles, and the pixie does come or whatever, Toodles, and he goes, Look, I didn't lose my marbles after all. I didn't lose my marbles after all. I'm like, We get it. You can make a funny joke, okay? We get it. It's a double entendre. Lost your marbles means you lost your marbles, or you're gone cuckoo. We get it. You don't need to throw it in our face three times in a damn movie. Overall, though, I think the special effects, the grand s scale of things, like the cinematography stuff, is great. I think Steven Spielberg did a great job with this film. I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10 because I really enjoy it. There's a little bit of flaws, but overall, pretty good. So what are your thoughts on Hook? Let me know in the comments below. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching. I've been Scotty. See you in the next one.